So, I'm back. Um, so, we're going to go over some interesting stuff. So, first, let's go over last video. So, I will update you on things I am planning. And, well, plans are still there. You know, we have a couple other plans. Might get into that. Probably not. I'm keeping this one a secret. I'm I I may I may have been I may have been beaten to the punch by some people. Um if I came out with it, you know, it'd be stealing. Just get it bad for me. Um Yeah, next what's next on the list? I have a list here. Uh, what's next? Ooh, this is a special one. Um, well, if you don't know who I'm talking about, that's fine. But there is this YouTube channel I've been following and watching and subscribed to for a very long time. I think close to five, six years now. Very good called Life of Boris, Russian or Slavic, Slavic, I think Slavic's the better term, Slavic YouTuber that, um, you know, just made cool videos, cooking, um, gaming, just like a mishmash, it's a mishmash channel, you know, it's a mix of everything, and 16 hours ago, or so YouTube tells me, um, he posted a video basically saying the channel is done. He said he'd still post there every now and again, but for the most part, the channel is done. And all this got me thinking. And that's a very dangerous thing. How broken is the algorithm? So, I went and checked. And sure enough, that thing is way broken. Like, very broken. I'm gonna get into why it's broken. Um, start, first off, it's, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Best way to put it, it just doesn't work. And the reason is, is it says it's a, YouTube will tell you this a thousand times over and they're lying. They're lying. Because if it worked the way they said it did, then you know, I would already have a million subscribers. That's, that's, I mean, that's the logic they use. They say this pushes new subscribers and new subscribers who follow um, modern, modern forms of video making which I guess you can say this isn't a modern form this is more like classic back in the wild west era but new new creators should be boosted more than older creators who already have a following well by that logic once again I should have a million subscribers but I think I only have one and I'm pretty sure it's my buddy so at the time of recording this, if this ever gets found, once again. Don't expect anyone to watch it. Um, this is kind of an experiment to see, hey, I'm drumming up some drama here. Let's see if I get thrown out into the wild abyss of YouTube on trending and stuff. Yes, I am calling them out if they let this video go through. That's basically drama. Um... But my other two, my other videos, one being a vlog-like video where I'm at Disney with my buddies, um, just screwing around, you know, something that I would say is actually fun to watch, um, that doesn't get pushed. My video on me doing a COVID test and just being a complete idiot, that. 
that doesn't get pushed, even though YouTube loves COVID. I mean, good night. They just just suck off COVID. They do. And my last video about calling out, just, you know, first off, an idea of how to do something. Ah, mixed with me calling out school systems for basically being broken, broken, broken. Excuse me, my nose itches. That doesn't get pushed, even though by YouTube standards, that stuff should be the stuff that's on trending, the new stuff, the hot stuff. Those are both, those are all new and hot stuffs. They're all very news and hot stuff. Um, it's like, well, there's, and if before, if anyone ever watches this, um, before they say, well, you know, the other YouTubers, you know, they, they campaign on social media and stuff to get their followings and YouTube can start pushing their videos. Yes, that does happen. But those people also have a following on social media. I don't, I think on Instagram, because I only have Instagram, <laughs> I only have maybe, maybe 50 followers, probably more than that, I think I only have like 50 followers, I don't have a follow. I don't need a following, who wants to be followed, that's weird, um, but, Sure enough, there are people out there that I've seen, that I've watched, that aren't modern YouTubers, and I've watched a couple of their videos, and they are trash. I mean, legitimate dumpster fires. And they are, without a doubt, the they're some of the most popular YouTubers on the platform. Great. Awesome. It's a complete dream. It's Before any of you, before someone says, oh, well, maybe you just don't like that kind of content. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. When you have 10 jump cuts in the first 30 seconds, that tells me you were very bad at talking on camera. Which, I'm not gonna say I'm good. I mean, the, um, I, uh, 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 that I do every single time I forget what I am saying. You know, that's not good at all. But, 30 jump cuts, no, 30, 10 jump cuts in 30 seconds. That's bad. It's not even, like, well done jump cuts where there's, like, an effect or something like that. No, it's literally just, like, mid-sentence just jumps. You this, these people have millions of subscribers and their videos are monetized even though they have some of the most disgusting, disturbing sh most dis some of the most disgusting stuff I've ever seen on a video. Now, but why is a channel like Life of Boris, a guy, yes, YouTube, he curses, yes. At times, he makes innuendos. And yes, he he does come from a area that is very much um, different than what you expect. Very big of a culture difference. And yet, for some, for some reason, just throwing this out there, for some reason, um... You all just decided, nope, we're not going to push your videos anymore because someone like him, he gets, he gets his views, the majority of his views, come from his subscribers, which, once again, a lot of people do that, but I've talked with people who are subscribers and... They said that his videos stopped showing up in his subscription. 
in their subscription feed. Stopped even showing up in the recommended, and instead, the recommended were replaced with stuff like, I spent the day with two capybaras. Who cares? I'm sorry, who cares? <laughs> this is just stupid. He makes, he spends a long time. He is somebody who, frankly, deserves way more love than some of these other, I mean, like, I watch a lot of very, I watch a, I watch a lot of very different content from cars to cultural stuff like his to gaming to, I don't know, gun stuff. I do like guns. Mostly just because of how they work. They are very fascinating how they function. Anyways, I'm getting off on a tangent. Um, it's. People aren't seeing his, he, he says, he, he talks to you and says, oh, you have no shadow ban, I don't, we don't do that. You don't do that. Yeah, his stuff stops showing up in people's subscription feed, and, crazy thing, it stops showing up on recommended too. I've had the same thing happen with a um, creator by the name of Brandon Herrera. YouTube hates Brandon Herrera. If you don't know who that is, he's also known as the AK guy. He makes he has a shop where he makes custom or just replicas of AK forty sevens. And he goes in and he discusses in a lot of his videos he discusses the history behind these guns, which very fascinating history, and that's mostly the reason I watch it, is the history part of it. And his very good, I guess, web series, uh, Gun Meme Review. Great way to get the news without having to listen to the news. Done in memes, very nice. Um, and there was a period where all of a sudden I was subscribed and stopped showing up my subscription feed. And, on top of that, didn't show up in my recommended. I had to openly search him out. But YouTube never banned him. That's what they'll say. I can tell you right now, this is some 1984 level stuff going on here. I mean, if you ever read the book, 1984, by George Orwell, this is exactly what it is. People being silent who have an opinion and letting the majority keep talking about complete and utter trash. So, YouTube. If you decide to push this video around because it sounds like drama and you want to, I don't know, screw around and find out what happens to a company who messes with me. I will tear you to the ground. He's <laughs> like, and if you say, oh, you're just some uneducated factory worker. <laughs> you don't think I have the resources to tear you to the ground. That's funny. All, all it takes is one little post on Instagram, one little video on your website or TikTok. Or anything like that. We're going to a news station and we're just reporting on this. Or even, here's a genius idea going there to your headquarters and presenting a case. You know, bringing files, evidence. It's not that hard. You think you. YouTube thinks they sit on a on a throne where they can't be stopped. You can be stopped. It just takes the right person. I can tell you right now. I could do it with relative difficulty, but I could do it. It doesn't take that much. I've been hustling for years. I can hustle you all the way to the ground. Yeah. 
uh, I'll even tell you where I would start. First things first, we're going to talk to a bunch of creators who've had issues with you. Get them, get my proverbial ducks in a row. I like that. Get the ducks in a row. Let them talk to each other. Let them get to know what their issues are. And when their issues are the same, I got you. I now have evidence from multiple different sources about things, issues they've had that YouTube has not addressed. And that the algorithm is broken. Heck, I will right now, I will, I'll get on my phone right now, email the Captain Sparkles, you know, your child that you kept so near and dear to your heart for the longest time, pushing his videos and him still pushing his videos even when Minecraft wasn't a thing, he was still making so much views. He was making so many views, so much money off of these views because he was the Captain Sparkles. He made a recent video also. I don't know how recent, I think probably about a month ago now. But he made a video saying he was done making content for the algorithm because no one was seeing it. And no, none of his subscribers wanted to watch that. They wanted to watch what he likes. So he said he's going back to making stuff he likes. I'm sure he would love to help on a petition or even a lawsuit. Ooh, that's, that's spicy. A lawsuit about how you are silencing people's right to speak. You are purposely making sure that people don't people aren't able to say the things that they want to say and let's get it's just a hunch just a hunch I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about I'm an idiot factory worker who knows nothing about this complicated algorithm stuff but I am good at math and I love probability and statistics. And I'm pretty sure this is probability and statistics. For instance, I have the probability of going nowhere on YouTube. And I know this video will never be seen. And I'm just making this because I'm kind of not too jazzed up by what YouTube's doing. I'd much rather tell them. And once again, I don't play into people's hands. There's a lot of channels to do 10, 15 minute videos max. This is already from what my recorder is saying at 18 minutes and 15 seconds. 18 minutes and 15 seconds of recording. Do you, most people don't have the attention span to watch five minutes. You think they have the attention span to watch 18 minutes? No. So this is definitely not gonna get pushed, but it's out there. So when someone finds it and they're like, hey, and why do I say when? Because there's a chance somebody just clicks the explore and my video shows up. And I'm a big constitution guy and I'll say, and I would say, mm, my first amendment right lets me say I can say whatever I want, people don't have to care, that's fine. But when you're purposely silencing people because you think it's better for your business, we have an issue. So tell me, YouTube, tell me, or don't, I don't care, I know the answer. Do you plan to fix this, or do you, or do you plan to just let it die? In the words of O'Hare from the Lorax, let it die, let it die, let it shrivel up and die. That's what it sounds like you're doing to this platform, honestly, it really does. Everything that made it special, out the window. Everything that made wanting to be a YouTuber glamorous when I was in middle school and high school, that's out the window. Now it's all just drama and girls flashing their boobs to people. That's all it is. I'm not saying it's all girls on the platform. I'm saying it's there's a 
good chunk of women on the platform who I can guarantee you they're only getting views because they got they got them assets we'll say so yeah please fix this and also go if anyone ever sees this go check out Life of Borg Go watch his videos. They're very interesting. I want to see the guy succeed. I don't know him personally. I just grew up watching him and learning how to cook from him. I can cook a lot of the stuff he shown. And I thank you, especially right now since I live alone and I have barely any money to my name. So those videos have helped a lot because I've learned to cook very cheap. And, you know, if you you're someone that watches this and you're like, I want to do YouTube. I think that would be great. Just don't play the system. Do what you want, man. I'm doing what I want. I'm just talking on a camera. Look at me. I got my big window. I got my couch that I've had since I was like five years old. Life is good. Life is good. And... I got a steady source of income much better than YouTube. I mean, probably making mo more than most um, YouTubers off of... Most YouTubers who do YouTube alone, just YouTube, and they're making, like, side money off of it, yeah, I'm still making more money. Even with their normal job, I'm still making more money. I don't... It's like, but you just said you are broke. Yeah I'm, yeah, I'm broke. I just started the job. I haven't got my full pay yet. Uh, anyways, y'all stay cool. Y'all have a good time. Y'all go do what you want. You all be free and make YouTube pay for the sins that they have caused. I am now going to go eat breakfast because I haven't eaten anything since midnight. Catch you later. And I will see you whenever I decide to record again.